tell us what's going on with them. Yeah, so we're excited that we're, you know, announcing the preseason match with uh, Chattanooga Football Club and Atlanta United from MLS. Uh, obviously two clubs uh, with some history. You know, their first match ever was played at Finley Stadium and back in 2017. And then obviously we had the Open Cup match. It was maybe not the world's greatest match, but it was a great opportunity. And I think, you know, from that, from being so close, practically being neighbors, uh, a lot of respect amongst the two clubs and how we go about things presented us this opportunity uh, here in January. And we're, we're excited and ready to run, to run with it a little bit. I think it'd be great for our community, great for our club, and obviously great for our players, um, not only to build up for the season, you know, but really to, you know, test themselves a little bit. And Atlanta's gonna have some, you know, roster changes and we'll have some roster changes like every pro team does every year. So it's a great chance and it's a, a great way to bring Major League Soccer here to the city of Chattanooga in, in the preseason. So couldn't be, couldn't be more excited. Um, means we got some work to do over the holidays, um, but that's okay too. I'd rather have that than uh, not have that chance. But honestly, it is an honor that they reach out to us because you look at the number of professional teams throughout the Southeast and all the different professional leagues, they had a lot of choices, you know, who they wanted to match up with. And the fact that they reached out to us, again, I think is a, a good sign for the respect the club has gathered, but also specifically, you know, how uh, Rod's teams play, how we matched up last year against them in the Open Cup. Maybe the end score wasn't the result, but they played their first team and they prepared for us um, as if we were an MLS opponent that week. So a lot of respect and, again, just thankful for the opportunity. And you said they reached out to you. Mm -hmm. The MLS team is reaching out to yeah. a, a minor league, if you will. So, yeah. I mean, that, that yeah. says a lot right there. It does, and I think it's um, – look, we're, we're in their market as well, so there's obviously opportunity for them to come up and – um, expand their brand and, and reach new audience because we know we have fans that head up and down the interstate to go see some MLS games as well as be at Fort Finley all the time too. So um, just like we have fans that wake up on Saturday morning to watch Tottenham Hotspur or Arsenal, whoever their favorite EPL club, and we've had fans that have enjoyed the World Cup. So that's the one thing you know about football, about soccer, is that you usually have that one club, but there's a few others that you'll sprinkle in a little bit. But yeah, again, truly a sign of respect for the DNA of the club, how it's been built, how it's been, you know, how it behaves, how it acts, and and obviously how we play on the field to give us this opportunity. You probably just said, "What date do you want?" <laughs> it wasn't. Want? It wasn't that easy. Had to have some conversations uh, with the stadium corporation and you know Brian Wright and his team. And I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't say Finley's been great partners that make this happen because. It is the end of January. We could have a beautiful, sunny, 50-degree day, or it could be a little cold. And we've had matches in the cold before at Finley, but they had to rearrange some stuff, and Brian and his staff have been first class about making this happen because it's a great opportunity, not just for CFC, but I think for the community in general. And it's at a great time of year. There's not a ton going on, you know, at, at that time, so we're really looking forward and seeing what it can look like. How important is it, too, uh, just for the landscape of just American soccer across the board, you see an MLS team play – a team like Chattanooga FC, you're trying, you know, everyone's trying to grow the game here in the States in their own way. And I feel like this matchup uh, is, is one of those uh, examples of potentially growing the game uh, just amongst the, uh, the different tiers of American soccer. Absolutely. And there was a, a couple of year period where this just wasn't happening as much as it did early on. I remember uh, being in Springfield, Missouri and uh, sporting Kansas City. They were the Kansas City Wizards at the time. Would come down and play Missouri State every year in an exhibition uh, match. And that kind of drifted away and other stories you hear has kind of drifted away too. So to see Atlanta um, understand the importance of growing the game and, and there's other MLS teams that are doing it as well, but to have it happen here in our community, I think just shows that, you know, soccer, football, it's, it's a little bit different. We look out for each other. And I think this is just another step for the opportunity to, to grow the game here in our area, in our community. And um, obviously doing that with, with Atlanta is a, is a huge, is a huge feather in our cap. How does this game, I guess, in uh, you know next month with with Atlanta too? You know, uh, obviously help you get some eyes on a couple of the guys you have brought back and maybe get them some time. But also, you know, the exposure for your club as well to, to, to potentially bring in new guys. And say, hey man, we're we're playing this team. Uh, and I know it's the preseason, but you know we're a club that that's uh, that you might want to play for. It, you know, one hundred percent. It's a huge recruitment tool. We you know again because of our area and where we are, we get great preseason games, and we feel like we're able to hit the league season. 
uh, really running because of, you know, the network that uh, myself and Rod has and our staff. So we get a lot of people reaching out wanting to play us. But then you throw an Atlanta United, you know, MLS team coming to play you during the preseason. So I'm sure there'll be some players that come in on trial. There's probably some players, you know, debating between CFC and someplace else. Why would you want to play anywhere else other than Chattanooga? That's what we tell them all the time. But if they are debating between two good two good options, us being one of them, maybe this is what pushes them over the edge a little bit. So, um, you know, Rod and his staff are doing a good job about building that roster and looking at things and, uh, there's no doubt as soon as they can let people know about this that they'll be sharing that opportunity uh, with those players and with those agents that represent them. When people outside of this area see you guys are going to host an MLS team, do you think maybe they start going, whoa, what's Chattanooga doing? Maybe we should call them up for a match if they're not necessarily an MLS team, but a, another lower tier for an exhibition match or anything. Does it draw waves maybe even overseas? I don't know. Yeah, it'll, oh, I'll, we'll be hearing from our partners at Wolfsburg about this, you know, asking how we pulled it off and uh, when can we get a match against them. That'll be something that comes out of it, so we'll have those discussions. Um, but, yeah, again, you know, CFC and Chattanooga in general has made a lot of waves in terms of, you know, soccer here over the last 10, you know, we're, you know, we're hit, heading into our 15th season, which is crazy to think about. So, yes, this will get, this will get noticed and get recognized again because, you know, people – you know, A, we don't take it lightly, and I think other people know that when MLS teams and teams reach out in preseason, who do you want to play against? Who do you want to match up against? The fact that they're reaching out to us is going to, it's going to turn some heads for sure. Mm -hmm. cool. Anything you. else? Good? Appreciate All right. Thank you, guys.